Hi everyone, this is Janelle Odishu. I'm the co-founder of the product AnnounceMyListing.com and I just want to do a quick orientation to this welcome screen for you. Essentially, when you come over from your MLS system through the smart link that says Announce My Listing, it's bringing you to your home page here. A couple things you'll notice on this page as I get you oriented to it. On the left hand side are our support buttons. You're going to see our social media training center where we've got free social media classes that we teach on a monthly basis uh, via webinar and some recorded ones for you as well. We've got some upcoming training webinars for a live demo and training of Announce My Listing. And then we've got a support and tips link, which will do several things for you. Number one, it will show you a picture of where that smart link is found for Announce My Listing on your MLS system. It will also give you a um, tips and tools on um, how to best talk to your sellers about what Announce My Listing is at a listing presentation. So you might want to read through that script that you'll find under support and tips. I think that will help you as you're talking um, about Announce My Listing to your sellers at that kitchen table taking your listing presentation. Also, you'll notice on the right-hand side is our Facebook business page. You're welcome to come over here and like our page and participate in conversations with us in that environment. The first thing I want to show you is the Edit My Information section. Under Edit My Information, I want you to click on that. The first time that you come over to announce my listing, I want you to check your information page. You want to make sure that we have a, um, a copy of your logo, um, a headshot of you or your team members. So you'll either you'll see that there's a top of the banner on the right hand banner or there's a bottom of the banner. There's two images, one at the top, one at the bottom. I tend to see, although this one has the logo at the top and the um, agent photo at the bottom, some of my top agents prefer to have their picture at the top. And that's fine. So if you'd like to have, if you'd prefer to have your picture at the top, put it in this section and your logo down at the bottom. And as you scroll down, you'll see that we've got some of your information has come over to us in the data feed from your MLS, but there may be several blanks. So please check and make sure that we have your website URL correctly displayed, your address, your email address, your Facebook URL, LinkedIn, Twitter, Google+, YouTube channel, blog page, any of those social medias where you have an account, make sure that we've got your correct URL. And you'll notice that it starts with HTTP automatically, and then you'll put in your, um, your link there. And then what will happen is we will display these icons on the banner on the right-hand side where people can connect with you. Now there's two additional spots here that I want to um, highlight. One is the My Housing Trends e-newsletter. Now if you're not familiar with this, click on What is This and it will take you over to their site. This is a free e-newsletter offered through a separate company, not through Announce My Listing. But we partner with them because we have about 36,000 of our agents using Housing Trends and they love it. It helps them generate referral um, opportunities for their business and leads. So with My Housing Trends e-newsletter, it essentially takes local, regional, and national housing statistics, puts it into a format for consumers with your contact information on it, making you the source of the information. So if you set up a free Housing Trends e-newsletter, it will give you your own personal URL, and you'll want to put that right here, and we'll display a button on your listing announcements going forward. My Reach Factor profile is similar to Housing Trends in that it's a separate company that we work with. It's a wonderful way to manage your online reputation and increase the amount of referrals that you have through satisfied customers. So if you want more information on that, click on What is this? If it's something you want to set up a free account with, you're welcome to do so. And then again, add in your Reach Factor URL here and we'll display that button under the Connect With Us uh, icons. As you scroll down, you'll see that there's ways for you to display how, you're, how you want your contact information to appear. So put in information about your display name. So if it's a team or your individual name would go here. What company you work with, uh, work for, the address. If you want your phone numbers displayed a particular way, like for example, if you want this to say phone or direct or mobile versus cell, it's up to you. So you want to make sure we've got all of your phone numbers. You'll notice an optional tagline or slogan. For, the, for this purposes of this demo, it's your realtor for life. This optional tagline will appear right below the top image on that right-hand banner where your information is displayed. 
And then you'll see an optional disclosure where we have our uh, have this fictitious DRE number. The optional disclosure appears at the very bottom of the announcement where it says powered by announce my announce my move. So that optional disclosure will appear on every single one of your listing announcements going forward. So if you'd like to put your DRE number or if you want to put some type of um, clause that's required by your by your state um, board or through your company, this is your place to do that. That you may want to say something about this is not a solicitation if your home is already listed, etc. And then down below, a little further, you'll see association logos. And if you use a little scroll bar, you will see that you can select from a variety of the nationally recognized uh, association logos, and we will display that on your banner going forward. When you're finished, you click on Update My Information, and we will save everything that you've made changes on here. Now, if you do make any changes in the future on any portion of this information section, we will update every announcement you've ever created using Announce My Listings program. So we will always display your contact information accurately. Okay? All right, so when we come back over to this main page, again, we've got our support links over here, our Announce My, uh, Announce My Moves Facebook business page on the right-hand side, your Edit My Information, there are some frequently asked questions and site help for you. And then we have your listing announcements already created for you right here in this middle section. So this is where you will see your listing, your MLS number, so street address and MLS number. And we've already created for you a client version of the listing announcement as well as an agent version. You can preview those now. If you like the way they look, you can go right ahead and share them on your social media sites. If you'd like to change the listing announcement and add some extra bells and whistle to it, uh, maybe change the banner to say just listed or for sale or for rent or for lease or open house or any of our banners, you're welcome to do so. You can even change the color template if you prefer. And you can add additional information on the page. You simply come over here to edit and send and it will take you right into our wizard, which is essentially a little questionnaire that helps you modify the announcement. And then we've got a little button where you can delete the announcement and delete that listing announcement. If by chance you click on delete and you didn't mean to, don't worry. We haven't actually deleted it. We've actually archived it. So we can retrieve it for you at any time. And then you'll see under view my completed announcements, once you complete an announcement, you will see those announcements here. Okay? And you can go back in and edit them at any time. Now I'm going to return to the landing page one more time. I want to mention one more thing here. If for some reason you have more than three listings, you will see a scroll bar located right to the right here. You'll want to use that scroll bar to scroll down and see all of your listing announcements there. So don't be mistaken in thinking that we don't have all of your listings. When the MLS data feed comes over to us, we will display all of your listings here, but simply in this window, you will only see a few of them. Then use the scroll bar to scroll down, okay? All right, we're going to go on to the next page. I'm going to use one of my completed announcements and edit that one to show you an example.